Hey guys, welcome back to Combo Fishing USA. I met a lot of people at shop on the fishing spot and they've been asking me what kind of rod and reel, barber and jig head, you know, for steelhead fishing because they want to get into steelhead fishing. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need for steelhead fishing for fall 2023. Fall has started, but the steelhead are still finding ways to the river. Here the video shows you what you need to catch them 2023 and we need more rain guys. First I will talk about the rod, second I will talk about reels, third I will talk about lines, fourth I will talk about jig sizes, fifth I will talk about bobber sizes, sixth I will talk about crappie tube sizes and number seven I will show you how to set up combo style and thank you and let's start the video i will show you different rods from the cheapest to the most expensive one and i will let you know which one you should buy this is 10 6 eagle claw a chancel im7 style noodle rod this rod costs 49.99 i caught a lot of steelhead with this rod when i started my youtube channel in 2018 19 This is rod number two. It's 96 Okuma Consortium. It's very really good and this is the first rod that I bought with the new reel line bait and I caught six steelhead on my first try. So this probably is the best of all rod. Whenever I buy the new rod, when I put the new reel, new line, new bait, I hardly catch the fish until the next day. But this is probably the best rod that I bought and I used in the caught steelhead on my first time out fishing for steelhead. So this rod costs about $89. So I bought it probably like two years ago and now I probably more uh, at, the, at the store there. So it didn't say medium live or medium fast action something like that but just say 96 akumo consortium this is 106 st croix light medium fast action this will cost 200 dollars god damn mosquito This is not a St. Croix rod. It's X6 medium power fast action. This is 106 G Lumus moderate medium light action. This rod costs 550. I bought this rod to replace with another rod because my arm is getting hurt so bad because I got elbow tennis. And the reason cost 550 because I rushed delivery let's talk about the reel this is shimano venford 2500hg and it costs about 240 dollars 260 plus tax okay and this reel is very really light i've been using this reel almost 10 months now and i like it This is Shimano Sophia XR C3000 SD HHG. This will cost 321 in Cambodia. My son went to Cambodia and bought this last summer. Now, if you order this online, only 240 some dollars, okay? So a lot cheaper by online. And this is how it looks. It's real nice and light, okay? I've been using this wheel probably probably last uh, two months, three months. This is Shimano Sustain 2500 HG, and it costs that much.
these are clear low water absorption fluorocarbon p line you need a flow line for jigging if the line is sinking too fast to the bottom of the river it's hard to jig and it gets snagged easily so to make sure you can pick and choose another brain but it has to be low and clear water absorption line let's talk about jig head sizes these are three different jig head sizes that i'm showing you right now the first one one 32 ounce the second one one 16 ounce the third one is one eight ounce and this is the biggest one and these are master brand jig heads they are not durable but still can catch a lot of fish with these uh, jig heads but if you catch a big or grandma grandpa still head this hook might be bent it depends on how you set your drag i've been using this master brand jig heads for the past 30 some years and i see i can catch fish but i lose a lot of fish too but you can pick and choose another brand if you don't want these master jig heads let's talk about bobber sizes there are two different sizes bobber this one one half inches and this one is two inches these bobber called very bobber let me show you what kind of jig head we'll be using with this two inches weighted bobber one eight one sixteen and one thirty two but i hardly use one thirty two on jig head with this two inches weighted bobber because it's too light but remember guys it's your rigs it's not my rigs it's up to you let me show you what kind of jig head we'll be using with these one half inches weighted bobber 116 132 but do not use this one eight jig head with this weighted bobber because it's too heavy and it barely stay afloat but you can use it like i told you it's your rig it's not my rig it's your choice This is how to set up combo rig, but remember guys, combo rig does not have the leader. Combo rig has only one main line from the barber to the hook. And here how to set it up. First, put the line through the barber and then through the hole of the weight. And after that, Put the line through the eye of the hook, grab six times, and then put the line back inside the loop, grab six more times, pull to make the knot. If you want to adjust the barber, just remove the weight and remove the barber up and down. That's all you need.
and thank you for watching catch you all next video